And now, to the millions and millions of listeners and viewers all across the world, it's the That's Not Christian Podcast. Let's go. Let's go. I well, I was gonna say, I was gonna ask. Um, so now you 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 you're dealing with that. You're on that side. You get your dream. You're out. What's your next step? Because you know you're you uh. What are you gonna do? Like that was that's that's what you've been doing. How did you? How was that transition from you? You know to go from from that side to you know to coming. You know having that wrestle with Christ. Yeah. And so. So w- once I left, like, um, I come up with the Charlotte. I, I mean, I had a good relationship in Charlotte at that time already. I'd been back and forth with Charlotte from Charlotte to Atlanta. So, um, at the time, King Carter, who was the baby's manager, um, he was a rapper at the time. And so I knew he had a studio. I hit him up. We were, we were pretty close friends and everything. We became, you know, closer friends. And he pretty much let me like almost live in his studio, you know, like, uh, you know, at the time I, he's let me bring my clients there. You know, I had mad clientele from working with Tip, so you know a lot of right. in- artists want to work with me. So I was I was able to start making money, get a car, and um, work my way up in Charlotte. So I, I was still kind of I was still working with secular artists, is just independent from that point. My my goal from that time was okay. You know what? I'm done with the industry. I'm just gonna I'm gonna help independent artists get that industry sound. Right. So that's what I did for a while. Um, worked at his studio. Uh, end up working at a couple other really, really awesome studios in Charlotte, um, just helping independent artists. And uh, just to fast forward to get to um, now, about two years ago, one of my home, I DJ too. So I was DJing in clubs and stuff like that, DJing bars. And one of my homeboys at DJ, he's like, bro, um, you know, I, I've never been, I've never been ashamed to say I'm a Christian or to anybody, you know, or, or talk about it. And one of my friends is like, yo, bro, he's like, you got to meet this, my homeboy, man, he's a Christian rapper. I'm like, oh, Lord, you know, like Christian rapper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I've never, I had never at the time listened to Christian rap, you know what I'm saying? Or or heard anyone locally who was a Christian rapper right. to any of the studios. So I'm like, you know, okay, well, you know, yeah, yeah, cool, I'll meet him. You know, a couple months go by, he's like, nah, bro, like, listen, bro, I'm telling you, you got to meet my boy. I was like, all right, well, look, just, just bring them. And I had been praying, you know, I've been, I've been praying to God for a couple of years, actually. Like, God, I'm like, why can I not use my talents to glorify you? You know, like I'm, I'm, I'm glorifying like the kingdom of evil, like nonstop. <laughs> like, right. Why can I not use these talents to glorify you? That's what I want to do. And, um, so he brings his boy and his, his name's diamond. And I'm sure you've got, you've got to see the hog mob. Yeah. Diamond, he's he's with them. So I, it was this was before he was with Hog Mob. So Diamond comes to the studio. Um, we probably talk for an hour before we even record. You know, he hears some of my story. I hear his. I'm like, okay, okay. He gets in and start rapping. I'm like, yo, this dude's dope. I was like, he's like, man, I told you, man. You told you, you need to meet him. And so uh, he's like, yeah, man. He's like, I rock with you. I want you to be my engineer. Um, you know, he's got that deep voice. He's like, yeah, I want to, no, I want to rock with you. And, and his his main thing was he wanted a Christian engineer. He wanted his whole team to be, you know on the, with, on the kingdom side. And so, uh, we started working together. That's when I started learning about Christian hip hop really was through him. Um, you know, he, he's got a crazy story too, a uh, crazy, crazy story. Um, but anyways, he started telling me about like seven, you know, he's like, yeah, you know, but what you got, you got here, seven, uh, seven dudes, seven, seven dudes was kind of his favorite. And so I was like, okay, I'll check him out and get on Spotify. I start listening to him. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Yo, these dudes are dope. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even know yeah. this music even existed. And, um, so then he's like, tell me, you know, tell me about Brian T. So I started listening to Brian T, you know, and I'm like, right. okay. me being who I am, I network, you know what I'm saying? I'm always about networking. When I was selling drugs in high school, I was networking, you know what I'm right. saying? When I got <laughs> the industry, I was networking. I've been to networking classes. I've been to seminars, you know, so I'm all about business and networking. So um, I was like, you know what? These dudes can't be that hard to get in touch with. I was like, you know what I'm saying? Let me let me get on Instagram. I get on Instagram, look up Seven Deuce. I hit him up like, hey, I'm recording this dude named Diamond. Uh, he, he wants to rock with you. you know, what do we got to do for a feature? He hits me like, send me something. So I send him something. And he uh, he ends up calling Diamond. 
and then he ends up calling me and he, he's just like filling us out. You know what I'm saying? He calls, calls this thing about dudes. He's like, I, he doesn't just want to do a feature. He wants to make sure you're about it. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to, someone paying for a feature. Now he's on this crazy secular artist out. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and uh, so he, he was about and heard our stories. And, and so they, they did two features and then um, he led us to hurt. And then, so Diamond did uh, two feature with her and then seven uh, introduced Deuce introduces to Brian T. So we did two features with Brian T. And then uh, I started hitting up Brian T and I, I produced the song on his uh, Live and Grow song, uh, album called uh, Free Will. And then I, I mixed uh, another song on that album. And so we, we built a little relationship there, you know? And um, so then uh, Diamond started doing the, uh, started doing um, uh discipleship with hog mob started, you know, doing like, uh, their Bible studies and stuff like that and really got built a relationship with seven. And, um, you know, Dima called me one night. He's like, bro, man, you know, seven is rocking with you, man. He likes your mixes, man. He's like, you know, he, he said he's rocking with you. And, and he kind of told seven my story. And, but, but to back up a little bit, um, in the midst of that before, before seven and then really got involved, like I was still DJing in the world. I was still recording secular independent artists, you know, uh, making money, you know what I'm saying? And, and hustling. And, um, I kind of started slacking on diamond. I started slacking on his album because like, Hey, do, if you want to, can I get in there tonight? Uh, bro, I got another session tonight. Oh, what's up Saturday. Um, DJ and Saturday, he sat me down one day. He's like, look, bro, and this is this is being very calm to how he came at me. He was like, "Look, man, my <laughs> album will be done by now. You know, my reason the reason my album's not done is because of you. You know, you you're you're DJing out here in uh, in Satan's playground. You know, you're playing all this music for people to get drunk to. You know, you're recording these artists talking about killing and and drug dealing and and, and all the stuff. You know, we're not about. And he's like, "That's cool. I'm not telling you what to do, but you know, you know, you want to make your money, you can make your money. But this is my ministry." And you're holding my ministry back. And he's like, I, I have to find somebody else, bro. He's like, as much as I don't want to, you know, I love you. I love who you are. I know you're about it, but bro, I've got to get this music on the road because this is my ministry. Mm. And I mean, it was a lot louder than that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, was like, I was like, slap in the face. Yeah. I mean, I, I knew it though. I knew it. You know what I'm saying? I knew it. So I got up and uh, I was like, I'll be right back. I walked out of the studio, I walked in the, the front of the, the office space. I just sat there and I started praying. And I was just like, God, he's right. You know, I mean, he's absolutely right. I can't deny that. And uh, I just kind of got silent and just sat in prayer. And, and God was just like, you're going to have to show him. You can't tell him, you know, you're going to show him that you're, that you're going to change. You can't, words ain't going to matter. Mm -hmm. So I come back in the room and I was like, sat down. I was like, bro, you're right. And he was, he was like, what, what, you know, like, whoa. <laughs> and I told him, I said, bro, I, like, I can't, I can't, sh I can't tell you with words that, you know, I'm going to be here for you and we're going to get this done. I said, I'm, I'm going to have to show you with action. So we'll just have to move forward from here. I had a DJ gig that weekend. I canceled it. Um, I canceled all my sessions. And from that point, I stopped recording secular artists, you know, stopped recording secular hip hop, secular rap, um, stopped DJing clubs, bars. Uh, I was only DJing like top golf and I do weddings, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. so, um, so yeah, he, he ended up telling seven that story, you know, um, once seven started getting more involved with us and seven was like, yo, you know, he respected that. And, uh, next thing you know, um, I finished Diamond's album and uh, we get, we get to the point where like I went about two months after I quit recording secular artists. I mean, I cut out like, you know, I cut out like $40,000 a year, you know, mm -hmm. just, just gave it up. And that was not easy. Especially no. once I finished Diamond's album, I didn't have anything to do. I'm literally sitting here with no music to mix. You know what I'm saying? I don't know any other Christian hip hop artists or anything. You know, I'm like, uh, and then COVID hit, so I'm quarantined with no music to mix. That's when I ended up producing. I produced a little album that I put on Spotify of just like low fi beats, you know, me just chilling, making beats. But I started going crazy. And um, yo, what's the name of that album, man? I listened to Lo Fi in the Office. Yeah, we got to check that out. Oh, uh, it's not now when view beats. It's not now when? Okay. Yeah, seven songs, seven, seven beats. 
Um, so, you know, I started getting a little depressed and a little discouraged, you know what I'm saying? Almost started backsliding like, yo, like, you know what I mean? It ain't gonna hurt if I go make, you know, a couple thousand dollars real quick, just record a couple people. But in my, my spirit, I knew like, nah, I can't do that. And the next thing you know, um, I prayed about it. Like a day or two later, Diamond called me, view, bro, you ain't gonna believe this, man. Yo, Seven's bringing Hall Mob to Charlotte. They're recording a whole album with you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, bro, he said he's bringing the whole mob. <laughs> he said, bro, and then like two days later, he's like, bro, yo, Seven wants you to mix the album. I was like, oh, oh nice. man, what? I'm like, this is dope. You know, like finally. So they, they came in like September. And that just like really helped me with with my encouragement of uh, just being in music. You know, oh, so that was just recently. Yeah, that right. was the, the Mob Millennium. So I've been oh, I'm okay, still, okay, still working on that album. Uh, you know, right now. So as they're dropping, I'm still mixing. Yeah, the songs and everything. So, wow. Yeah, yeah, that that so that's cool. that's what that's right when I heard about Diamond. Like I had never heard of him before up until yeah. un, until this project right here that you worked on. That's right. He was in the secular music too. I mean, he's he's a little older too. Um, he's from Texas. No, he's from uh, Miami. Okay. Um, mm. but he, he was like a you know he's like a white gangster. He was a gangster in Jamaica, like the only white gangster in Jamaica. There's like stories about him. Um, he was with very gang affiliated in uh, Miami. I mean, he's got a really really crazy story. So you can you can see where he fits in with Hog Mob. You right. know. Right. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yo, he his his last verse on the well, well not his last verse. Excuse me. The last song that that they put that they put out or, or someone put the the link on. Um, Which one? Last H-O-G- one we saw. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. H O G. Christ yeah. gang, Christ gang. Yeah, that, yeah. With, that's the one where they in the van, right? Yeah. But yeah. The yeah. With Zadok, yeah. with Zadok and Fawns Carter. Yeah, so, Diamond Bible. murdered that joint. Yeah, yeah. Dom, Dom is crazy, man. Like that's like seven, seven was rocking with him. You know what I'm saying? And um, you're definitely going to hear a lot more of Diamond on this album. Um. But uh, the beam on the Bible. So when we was recording uh, Diamond's album, when I was doing his album, we were sh- I shot a couple of videos um, with him or a couple. I did a couple of photo shoots and he had the beam on the Bible. You know, so we got some pretty good. That, that was kind of his concept, that beam on the Bible, you know. And right. uh, so he's definitely been incorporating that. But, yeah, he's, he's very, very talented and very, very passionate. So. So are you uh, trying to reach out to other uh, CHH artists right oh, yeah. now? Like, really, man. Yes. I'm, I'm, uh, I mean, my goal, my goal is to be able to, um, you know, get back into working full time on music because once, you know, giving up secular, I mean, uh, um, I rely on a full time job, you know what I'm saying? To pay my bills. Right. Uh, where, you know, DJing and, um, weddings obviously helps with that. But I mean, I love my passion is mixing. I've been doing it for so long, you know, mixing. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm getting deeper into mastering as well. I'm pretty good at doing that. I mean, I'm, I'm doing the mix and masters on these. Um, I'm also learning the new industry standard with, with streaming. There's a whole lot of new industry standards with streaming and music. Um, but yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely looking to network with other CHH artists. And so you're the guy to go to. Y'all hear everybody that's listening. Go to my man, View Beats. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll run your music through some analog here. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, <laughs> you um, see all that equipment there. That boy ain't playing, man. So yeah. where you recording? You record at your own crib or? or? In the crib now. Um, this, is, this is where I mix at. I mix here in the crib. Um, I got a studio right down the road uh, that I record at. My One of my partners, he owns it. Um, it's a very nice studio and everything. So we record there. And then I, I usually do mixing here. I got a baby on the way. So I like to be at home. Hey, yes. Congratulations. Congratulations. December, yeah. right? Yeah, December. Yeah, Titus. Nice. Uh, what? What is? What, what you said? Titus. Titus. Oh, yes. nice. nice. You got the name already. <laughs> nice. That's a sub. I got a question of you. Where yeah. does View Beats name come from? That's a good question. Um, so I'm from Hickory, North Carolina, which is a there's a it's kind of sectioned off, and one of the sections is called Longview. So I'm from Longview, and so growing up, it's a pretty rough. It's just nothing happens in Longview. You know what I'm saying? You either uh my group of friends, you either end up in jail, dead, or a drug addict, you know? And so... Uh, so it's like a small town, right? Small town. And so I ended up, you know, being one of the people, like only one of the only people who ever did something like big, I guess you could say. But as I'm coming up doing music there, people just started calling me View because I'm from Longview, you know? So everybody in the hood, okay. 
I'll eat some longview. View, view, what up, view? Oh, you know, okay. so then it got to be like a bunch of different words, like different, different names, and then I ended up like, okay, view beats. That's perfect. You know what I'm saying? And so that was like my O five. So yeah, he's still repping the <laughs> set. Yeah. The city. I like that. I like that. <laughs> so how do you, so view? Go out my best. What's good? How do you, how do you feel about the quality in CHH? Like from the <laughs> other artists. That's that a good know. question too. That is a good question. There is because a lot of people before would be like, "Oh, this is corny." Even even view earlier, he was like, "Oh, Christian hip hop. I don't know <laughs> right, what this right. is about." You know? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Man, it's funny. I'm not the only. I've, I've mentioned. I don't. It's, I don't know how recently, but I've mentioned before. Like, I'm working with Christian hip hop. Christian hip hop, you know, like there's Christian hip hop, you know. So I'm not the only one who doesn't know. Anything. But um, I've I've recently been coming across some more and more people. Um, a lot of times I'll have it just like I'll be working in the garage or something or, or working on the house, and um, I'll just have like a playlist playing, like a you know put on one of seven songs and let a radio go or Brian T and I'll hear, start hearing, you know, different, I'll hear some songs I like and I don't go over my phone to see who it was, you know? So I'm hearing some people I'm like, dang, I wish I would have liked that song. Right. I just, uh, I just listened to uh Dayton. Is that his name? Dayton? Yeah. 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 So I was listening to, I had it on a, a Christian hip hop Spotify and that song snot rag came up. I don't know if y'all heard that song snot rag. No, nah, I heard that one. No, that song, mm-hmm. no man. Know. I'm I'm from the south. It's on the C H H ain't dead. How my yeah yeah yeah. Oh yeah. I had to walk over my phone and like yo, I got like who is it? <laughs> and I it wasn't him that I like the hook, the hook on it. It's very uh, south sounding, and yeah, I think bro. Swayze, that that young eighteen year old Swayze. Yeah yeah. Said, yo, oh, that kid is good. Uh, I'm looking at it right now. Yeah. Yeah yeah. Yo, that song is dope, man, and it's got a real southern swag. And I'm from the south. It yeah. most. 99% of the beats that I make is like trap sound. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's what, that's just where I'm, that's, it's like, you know, if I was from Nashville, Tennessee and I played guitar, I'd probably play country. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I grew up with rap, so I, I, I make trap. Um, so, so just aside from the content, like the quality, right? Is there ever like, you're like, man, like this could be a lot better mix or so this could be a lot better. Oh know, yeah. Well, he yeah. could have wrapped well, well, this probably over again, and it could. <laughs> what would you say to a CSH artist that's watching this this uh, interview or listening? What would you tell them that maybe to do to change or something like you've seen that that, know, that go struck to view, out to you? Go to view. That's it. Go to view, man. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm actually so so. Um, one thing I'm offering for CHH artists is this is also my ministry too. So this is my work into the kingdom. You know what I'm saying? Um. I've worked out, you know, really good deal with, with seven of them. It's like, you know, normally I would charge $300 up for a mix and I'm doing it for half, like 150 a song, you know, so that, that I know that from what I've heard and seen, you know, not it's CHH, this isn't dope dealers. You know what I'm saying? I don't have someone with a, a 10 bands they just made this last weekend. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to drop a thousand dollars right now. You know what I'm saying? I know it's not like that. So I'm willing to work with budgets as well. You know, if, even if it, they, even if you ain't got 150, um, I'm willing to, to adjust that a little bit to, to That's help. It's actually really good. Cause out here in Cali, most of the biggest studios, they charge about 150, 150 to 250 per hour. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, bro. Like yeah. I'm telling you, like, yeah, I've, I've done songs for like 500 up as well. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. This yeah, is, this is where good. I know I know that from most of the CHH artists I work with, including uh, Hog Mob. You know, most of the the brothers I met there, you know, that have become my family. Like, we all got jobs. They all got jobs. You know, what I'm saying I'm not trying to. Everybody's got kids. You know, what I'm saying. And then most of most Christians. I mean, you're if you're living the life right, you know, you got a wife, probably kids. You know, what I'm saying. Right. Yeah, right. that is. It's not life ain't easy, and especially with everything crazy, like. You know, I'm working to put in the uh, work to the kingdom. That's that's my my ministry. So, nice. but as far as like, what could they do? I would say, you know, if you're wanting quality, like invest in yourself. You know, what I'm saying, um, make that. I mean, I invested in myself. You right, know? right, right. <laughs> this is not <laughs> equipment. So and don't, that, don't don't be rapping on your on your on your voice notes. Yeah. yeah no, what you mean? Kanye did that though. They worked for Kanye. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Even Kanye, the, the Christian album that Kanye put out, like I was now, I was like, "Yo, the quality is awful." You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh man, they go the listeners. 
nah, <laughs> I was just joking. I, I actually, I, 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 I love that album at that time. You know what I'm saying? I was that. Yeah. Was, I was actually excited about that because I seen the transition. I seen some. I seen God working. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of the 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 naysayers and all that, and the right. fact that definitely kind of slipping. You know, he's kind of black sliding right now from what it looks like um, with some of the people he's working with, but. You know, I've seen some of his interviews and I've seen, you know, God's really working. And to see God just slide into the industry like that and just like, mm -hmm. you know, cut the veil right in the industry like that. I mean, that right. was, was pretty powerful. Yeah. Quality yeah. One yeah. On God that. was trending, right? <laughs> yeah. Trending God. On Twitter and YouTube. Yeah, um, man. That was, that so was, what, that was, what's that? That's the hog mob sign in the back? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Seven forgot to take that with him when they left the session. So I bought it. <laughs> it's yours now. <laughs> well, that's Illuminati. <laughs> that's, that's community property now. <laughs> you know, it's, it's like, you know, I've, I've watched the YouTube comments. I'm like, you know, on, on the, the songs. So I want to see what people say because I'm I'm working on it. You know, this is my some of my work too. Right. Yeah. Oh, what's with the bathroom, man? This and that. I'm like, oh, God, I knew that was coming. You know what I'm saying? Because I said the same thing. <laughs> first teen hog i'm like yo what are they doing you know but but then i see you know they're doing that and i remember being raised my grandma always saying you know this is i love you that's i love you in sign language you know right, right. Uh, so i mean it's not surprising that people are going to come at it i mean that's what happens with everything in the world yeah. everything read, everything gets interpreted yeah. everybody's got opinion and everybody's looking for something to hate on and uh i know the hearts of hog mob i know the hearts of all them dudes and boy they yeah. are for Christ and, right. and um the the one thing I love about right. speak on that because a lot of people are uh they won't listen to hog mob because of some of the language right some of the strong language that they put right, in music right. um or reconcile so like what has been in your experience with these brothers like that you can say yo you know regardless of maybe what you hear or, or whatever opinion they got on, on certain words or usage of words you you still feel like you know this is cool man this is this yeah. is the work of god so that's pretty funny because me and diamond you know we're white you know what i'm saying and, and we we <laughs> the, the music we hear you know we hear seven say the n-word you know what i'm saying and then <laughs> you know like and i'm like you know me i i don't personally care but our conversation me and diamond had was like yo you know like I, me for instance me djing at top golf okay at top golf i can't play any music that has the n-word in it Right. Mm. But I'll drop some Brian T. You know, I'll drop some hurt. I'll drop right. some artists that I've been listening to at Top Golf. You know what I'm saying? Wow, like, nice. Playing the uh the Brian T. Um uh who told you gangsters go to heaven? You know what I'm saying? That's right, right. I know I see I see thugs there and I know that they're hearing it. I'll crank it up, but I have to be careful playing seven. You know, <laughs> 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 comes out. I, I can't play it, you know? So I, right. I'll, sometimes I'll sit there and I'm like, man, I really want to play one of seven songs. And I'll have to listen to it. Let me make sure I listen to his verse. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so me and Diamond had to talk about that because we're like, you know, man, that kind of sucks because Diamond was getting involved with Hog Mob. He's part of Hog Mob now. And, and he's just like, you know, before he had talked to Seven about it, he was just like, we talked about it. And it's like, you know, I probably, they probably could, I probably couldn't play his songs for some of the, like the church I go to, you know what I'm saying? They might feel a certain type of way cause they're right. white people and they're probably, Whoa, you know, what is it? And, and already rap, you know, rap music. Um, for instance, I'm Halloween, I'm outside building sound panels in my garage and, uh, I got the garage up. I'm playing, uh, you know, Christian hip hop. And I see some families, like some kids start walking my driveway. No, 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 no. The mom grabs them. No, keep going. Yeah. Like, <laughs> right. They hear rap. And so, um, but anyways, with, with the language and everything, um, the thing about hog mob is, you know, for people who don't know them, a lot of them are, um, ex gangsters, you know what I'm saying? Ex gang members, um, been to prison, you know, um, for anything and everything, you know what I'm saying? Um, and so they're, all of them are passionate about reaching prisoners, reaching gang members, um, reaching people in the streets. That's their passion. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. streets um their their passion is not to hit white suburbia you know mm -hmm. hit a uh, uh, um baptist church you know what i'm saying even though zion he's a baptist preacher right. you know and at a at a baptist church in georgia um their their main goal is to hit the streets and and that's where they come from and i 
I feel that. And, and um, I love it because I grew up in the streets and I grew up with gang members and, um, you know, thugs. And that was like my, that's, that's who I always loved. And then the people, my friends, you know what I'm saying? Especially right. in the music industry. So, um, so to see fun. people on fire for God like that is just even more encouraging. Yeah. And, and it's cool because, um, I remember talking to my preacher one time, uh, back, back in the day, I was talking to him about smoking marijuana. You know, I, I don't smoke anymore. I quit smoking three years ago, but I'd, I was like, no, pastor, what's wrong with smoking marijuana? You know, he's like, Oh, you know, this and that, this and that. And, uh, he's like, you know, one thing I like about you, Sean, he's like, um, you're going to be able to reach people. I can't reach. Mm-hmm. He's like you with the people that you're around. He's like, I could never go talk to them about Jesus. He's like, but you can cause, mm-hmm. cause you're friends with them. He's like, but they're going to look at me like I'm some crazy old white guy. You know, and so that always resonated with me. And so then when I see like hall mob and that's mm-hmm. kind of the same thing, they're going to be able to reach people that some old white preacher ain't going to be able to reach. You know what I'm saying? Unless you're uh, uh, David Wilkerson. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and not gonna, and not, let's not say gonna because they are right. Cause yeah, yeah I, I seen, I seen, um, cause I'm cool with, I'm cool with skill. Right. And he's always sharing videos and stuff like that. And like they really in the streets, like they're in the middle of the projects, oh, yeah, making hamburgers, <laughs> like barbecuing and a live show and everything. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like handing out Bibles and the whole nine. You know, yeah. so they they definitely like the heart of ministry, um, is is definitely you know prevalent in Hog Mob. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, they definitely about the streets. Yeah, and they could do that. Dante, like Dante has said that they're building, I guess they have this house that they're building. Yeah, Dante's been, uh, they built this house and they're filling it up. They're going to be doing a, a whole men's ministry where they're going to be bringing, you know, recovery and everything like that. And yeah, man. The Dante, house is ill. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. house is ill. Like, but he's trying to renovate it, right? Yeah, it's what he's been renovating and everything. Mm-hmm. They're filling it up now um, with uh, the furniture and everything. Dante, I don't know how much y'all know about him, man, but, you know, he has a crazy cool story about prison ministry. Um, he has this dope prison. He started doing prison ministry with um, with a prison fellowship to where he started going to prisons, kind of, you know, teaching with with the prison fellowship. Well, then they, they allowed him to uh, bring speakers, you know what I'm saying, and a microphone. So then he started rapping. And, and next thing you know, the the prisoners start getting involved within the prison themselves. They're like, yo, this is this is great. They reached out to Dante, like, yo, we want you back. And whether you're with uh, prison fellowship or pres- pr- prison fellowship or not, we want you here. So he right. went and invested in a bunch of sound equipment. And before COVID, you know, I know he was going uh he, he go a couple yard, he go to a couple prisons in a weekend and go to each yard. And so he go to you know, first yard and he he played his music, he'd rap, but then he'd allow them to rap. And he talks, I think he talked about it in a song or, or maybe it was just me and him talking. He's saying like, that's, that's one place where he's seen where, um, all it, it just, it would break the whole, um, the whole stigma of white and black and red and blue. You know what I'm saying? Everyone's shoulder to shoulder. Mm-hmm. There, there wasn't no, no hate. That's it. It killed all the hate. It allowed them to come give their test, you know, their story, and 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 allowed them to rap. And uh, he he was saying one time he he had a, a guy that was like a Muslim, this like big boss guy. You know what I'm saying? He sent a little minion up to him, and he's like, "Yo, my boss said, you know, he likes what you're doing. You know." And and says, so like, "Let me go talk to him." He goes to talk to him, and he's like, "Look, man." He's like, "You know, I I'm Muslim." He's like, "So, but I like what you're doing." He's like, "You know," he's like, "Okay." He's like, "But you know," and Dante's like, uh, well, "Let me pray with you." He's like, okay, he's like, you, you pray to your God, I'm going to pray to mine. Dante said he went, um, Lord, God in heaven, he's like, I pray you break this man free. You, you set this man free, and that was it. He says <laughs> about, about a year later, he was out in, uh, out in the streets, and they were doing like a, a little concert in the streets, like 1,500 people. This guy comes up and um, sees the hog mob sign. He's like, oh, I know hog mob, I know hog mob. And uh, I can't remember if it was uh, who it was that had seen them. Yo, yo, I know the owner of Hog. I, I know the, the boss of Hog Mob. They're like, oh, seven? Yeah, he's not here. No, 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 not seven. Yeah, seven. And uh, dude goes and gets Dante. And Dante comes out. He's like, you don't remember me, do you? He's like, yeah, I remember you. He's like, bro, he's like, I'm free off of a life sentence. I wasn't supposed to get out. I gave my life. Oh, wow. 
Wow. You know what I'm saying? And, and he's like, and everything changed. And uh, and Dante, when he was telling me the story, he's like, bro, he's like, I, I wasn't talking about, you know, freedom from prison. You know, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so that's a pretty cool. One. So, you know, Dante, me and him, we talk quite a bit. We, we, we built a really, really good relationship and he's, he's becoming one of my close friends and uh, he's, he's one of my favorite artists too. Um, you and, just miss, mixed a song for him, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just uh duct tape that just came out. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, we're going to be doing a lot more work, but he, man, he's just on the, on, he's on fire. All of them are on fire, man. I can't speak enough like hog mob, man. They, 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 they are a very, um, Christ-minded ministry. They are a very uh, non-profit ministry. You know, um, they they are very uh, focused, typical, and, and strict. Very strict. You know, what I'm saying as far as far as um, being biblical, they don't they don't play no games for sure. That's so, what's up, man. But they, you're right. Yeah. You send them out there. You ain't sending a, a Christian opera singer to the hood. <laughs> hog mob, yeah. Yeah, man. And, and that, I think, you know, from the stories I've heard, you know, gang members and people like they relate to that. You know, like um, I've heard stories of people like, yo, like I would have never um, heard the gospel if it wasn't for you guys. You know, I would have never thought about, you know, Christ without hearing your music and, and your ministry. Um, so that's that's powerful. You know, um, yeah. I, I feel like there's a preacher. You know, I mean, I feel like the body of Christ, um, people get used all over the place. You know, they're whether it's it's for white suburbia or whether it's for the hood, you know, um, we have a purpose, you know, all purpose. But yo, we appreciate you, man. We thank you for coming out, man. Yeah. Dope convo, man. Yeah. Uh, tag, yeah. uh, throw in, I guess, you know, all the info. Yeah. Social. You, your yeah. social, your. So Insta- Instagram, View Beats, Twitter, which I don't really get on much anymore, View Beats. Mainly on Instagram. Um, Facebook is Sean Sievert. If you can, I don't know if you can see my name up on the Skype thing mm-hmm. or the Zoom thing. Um, DJ View Beats on Facebook. Um, Spotify View Beats album called uh, If Not Now When. I do plan on dropping some more. I've, I've got a ton of content. I just sit on, you know, and uh, oh. I definitely plan oh. on doing some more. Um, if anyone's interested in beats, let me know. I can definitely send you a catalog and. We can talk business that way too. We might get a we might get a a a, a, a view beats album with a bunch of artists collaborating, huh? Hey, that would be dope. That, yeah, let's put that in the air because I'm down for sure. <laughs> <laughs> dope, dope. Well, with that being said, we want to thank everybody for listening uh, and watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button on YouTube um, if you haven't already. Make sure you cop your merch at shop uh, We're gonna have that uh, Black Friday promo if it's not out already, guys. Is it? Nah, nah yeah, we're gonna have it. All in right, the yeah, yeah. All right. we're gonna have it. Check out. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Yeah, to IG. so check check out the Instagram if you're not already there. Make sure to visit our channel sponsor, Eurific. Uh, use promo code TNC uh, to get ten percent off and get free shipping. So thank you again for listening. And uh, thanks for a view for stopping by and sharing uh, his testimony and everything. And if you need anything done, make sure you go to view. I will see you next week. Peace. Peace. Peace.